So here's the information on Ratty Dave's version two. Um, yes, it comes with a track mode. It's the old version of track mode though. It's not updated with the uh, with the with the systems up front. You have the old school where you have to press D in order to get to the systems and uh, different menus. It does have bezels and shaders though, which this I would say is the big deal is the bezels that the um, Raise image does not have those installed, so you'd have to install those yourself. So it's a cool system. Um, here's all the games you have later in the video. You'll see, or previously, you'll see which how many games per system. Um, bezels are for like games like Game Boy Color, where it doesn't fill in the whole screen, and it gives you like a little um, you know sp splash screen that goes behind the game, a little background um, that bezels. It's like a frame around the game. Now, uh, they're saying this will run on a Pi Zero, Pi One, Pi Two, Pi Three. I have only ran this on a Pi Three. And then they also say there's the latest kernel here. Uh, the, here's the magnet link. I'll give you it. It will be in the description below. It's a very fast download. As you can see here, uh, this was going at 18.1 megabytes per second. Uh, the ETA on it was about four hours total at a, at a fast speed for the 96 uh, gigabytes. The image does come um, extracted already, um, so it comes as an IMG file. It's not a zip file, so you do not have to unzip it. And it is a total of 96.3 gigabytes. So those people that have like a an SD card that's not big enough, this image will definitely work with pretty much any 128 gigabyte SD. So maybe for those having issues with Ray's image, you can get this image to work on that SD card, especially if you can't return it. Once you have your Ratty Dave's image totally downloaded, again, it should be about 96.3 for the version two. All you need to do is download the SD formatter program. Make sure you find the right drive here. You don't format one of your hard drives. Go ahead and just click format. The default options here should work fine. That'll format your SD card. Once your SD card is formatted, you want Win32 Disk Imager and go ahead and run this program as administrator. Make sure you have it on the right device. See like right here, this is not, I wanna make sure it's my J. If it's my G, my external hard drive is gonna go blank. So make sure you select the right thing. Click this folder here, which got me to this image here. I just clicked on it. You can see I have it all um, set up. And then all I have to do now is click the write button. It'll take about 30 minutes to an hour to write. So this whole process from downloading to writing um, is gonna take you, you know, about a day or two depending on how fast. I was able to do it all in about six hours. Um, most of that time was in downloading. Uh, usually, uh, this is display, uh, this is the old version of, uh, so in default boots the bar in Ratty Dave's, it boots into a track mode, and then we're booting into emulation station just to double check and figure our controller as well as the sound wasn't working, so the audio is probably set to 3.5 jack, not uh, HDMI. It looks very similar to, um... Oh, yes. So, the version is he's on. He's on a version. Oh, wow. wow. Pretty up to date. 4.1.5. This is recently updated three days ago. It's pretty good. But it has the old track mode. Yes. So, for this image, you want to go into the RetroPie setup and then go into the core packages and go into the emulation station and then go to settings and then go to uh, reset all controllers. And uh, it'll say, are you sure you wanna do this? Go ahead and press okay. And uh, make sure you don't press escape, escape, escape here. You wanna just press cancel and go back and then cancel to the main. Uh, do not go back into emulation station. Right before emulation station, this should give you the option to reboot. And go ahead and reboot your system so that way when the system loads back up, it'll prompt you with a configure your controller. You gotta hold down A. I got it. After you're done configuring your controller or something else you might want to do is go into the RetroPie menu on Emulation Station and change your audio to either HDMI or 3.5 jack. Another thing you might want to do is um, add the, the clicking noise. Right now the menu doesn't make the noise as you click. I believe you can get to there and just press start on your controller. This should be uh, in those settings or in the RetroPie settings uh, as well. So this should get you up and running. At least your controller should be working and the game should be running. You can boot default into a track mode and emulation station if you wanna know how to do that. I recently made a uh, movie called uh, Questions and Answers on my YouTube channel, which has that information on it. Um, this image is not up to date, so the attract mode, you have to press D to get to the menus. If you want the attract mode where it boots up and you have all the systems and uh, 
different menus uh, on the top of the uh, individual system a track mode like we're looking at now. Uh, you do require a track mode setup, uh, I'm sorry, update, and uh, you need to configure all that at the menu art. And uh, that's in my other video, which is uh, how to update a track mode raise image. The process should be similar to this image as well. Um, this should get you going. Again, I, I, I think raise image is a little bit better, but uh, if you ha don't have an SD card that doesn't fit raise, this is another option for you. So that's really cool that there's a lot of these images out there um, that will uh, be useful to different people out there. I hope you like this video. If you could, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.